welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Super Black Bass. Oh shoot, where did I put my big floppy bucket hat? You know what's funny about fishing in video games? I'm pretty sure there are ten times the number of games with fishing minigames than there are dedicated fishing games. From JRPGs to roguelites to farming simulators to first-person shooters to Twitch chat games, you'll find no shortage of the ability to reel in some fish. Maybe it's because it's a relatively simple concept that can easily be slotted into basically any game. Probably the most well-known and most fun of the dedicated fishing games is Sega Bass Fishing for Arcades, although to be honest, it's kinda hard to beat a game that gives you a setup like this. Super Black Bass, meanwhile, is actually part of a long-running fishing franchise dating all the way back to 1986 and the MSX. Most of the games in the series were made by the same company, the wonderfully named Hot B. They were a company without that many games to their name, but most of those games were either RPGs or fishing games. Still, with this many games under their belt, dedicated to the art of tricking creatures with brains the size of a peanut, there's hope that they were able to bring the game to the small screen successfully. But let's be honest, fishing has never been as exciting as this cover is making it out to be. We have a cool bass jumping out of a lake, but all the times I've seen fishing tend to be 45 minutes of sitting in silence, then your line snaps and you go home crying. Or maybe that was just me. Alright, I haven't played a dedicated fishing game in quite some time. Get your tackle box filled up, it's time for Super Black Bass. Hot B presents, I love that name. Peach. Super Black Bass! Hmm. Uplifting fishing music, of course. Alright, let's let's fish. Continue. Oh, there must be a battery backup. That's nice. Oh, is this your first time at this tournament? Please register your name on the entry card. Ooh. Man, this is a These cutscenes are actually looking really nice. I mean, it's just three frames of animation, and it's just those little effects in the water, but it does a lot. Seven to three. Small and large amount bass, ranking based on total weight of bass caught. Oh, God. I wasn't prepared for this level of story in my fishing game. Yes, please guide me, tiny child. Hey, let's start the first battle. Just start hitting each other with fish. Should be lots of lily pads on here. I think there was an old bridge to the east. Let's look around for a good fishing spot. Oh, uh, what? Oh! Oh, it's tank control style! This is not at all what I was expecting! I thought it was just gonna be, you know, start casting. This is like actual... actual fishing. Let's cast here. I got the only fish here, just open water. There's a creek mouth nearby. A three. I'm gonna cast anyway. So it's golf controls. Oh, wow. It's quite skillful, actually. Oh, no, don't turn around, you jerk. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on. No! The lack of music here actually totally works. Let's change my lure. Man, the game is super in-depth, too. This is one of the most in-depth fishing games I've ever played. Okay, tiny child who is now with me. Let's find a better place. Ow. Got any fish here. A zero. Oh my god. This has to be the right location. What? Okay, I, I'm a little unsure what you want from me, child. You know what? I'm gonna check the FAQ really quick to find out where I'm supposed to fish. Because I am really liking this game, but I don't know what this child wants from me. There, There's, there's no information online. Oh no. Alright, we're just in this for the long haul. I see something on the fish finder. Weeds, weeds, give off. Aha! We found something! Let's do this! Hmm. I couldn't help but notice that the place earlier that we found, where he said there aren't many fish here, had more fish than the place where he says there are fish. All I want to do is get into one fish combat. What? Oh no! Thumb the line slowly, just before the lure drops. Aw, oh, dang. It says a lot about the game that I really want to find the fish. The problem is, uh, this game is embracing every part of fishing, which includes the boring part. We just sit here waiting. The fish just do not seem interested in my lure. Oh. What? Damn it! 
Switching lures. Man, look at all these stats. I feel like I need a manual for this. Oh my god, I can't catch a single fish. Hang on. Okay, this is really interesting. I just, I just found two different videos about this game. Neither one of them was able to catch a fish either. I do like this game, but I'm wondering if they overcomplicated it. Okay, please. Like, here's the thing. I really do want to get into this game and be really excited and be like, Yeah, I'm fishing! Because it's clearly being made for people who want, like, a good in-depth fishing experience. But it's so in-depth and I'm not catching anything. Like, I'm just sitting here. And yes, I suppose that does replicate the real fishing experience of waiting around a while. But is that what you really want a video game for? Typically, you'd want a video game to, you know, be more exciting. Oh my god, please. I just cannot get these fish to pay attention to me. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong, and the game isn't telling me what I'm doing wrong. Look, the fish is right there. Come on. Yeah, they just never seem interested, no matter what I do. If I keep it still, they don't do anything? Wait. Yeah, if I keep it still, they don't do anything? If I move it, they don't do anything? Come on. Oh, my God. Yeah, I just... Uh, this game was so close. It was so very close. But if I want to play a really good fishing game, you know, I want to... I want to catch things. It's relying a little too much on random chance. Basically, they took their fishing simulator and made it way too much of a fishing simulator. As strange as that sounds. Man, I think I'll just stick with minigames from now on. It's sad because there's a lot of stuff about this game that I really liked. There was actual effort put into the story, both in terms of dialogue and cutscenes. The graphics were really nice and the music was fun, and the lack of music during the fishing segments actually added a lot of atmosphere to the game. And although the fishing seemed simple, there was a shocking amount of depth between finding places to fish, changing your lures around, and managing your time and casting. It really felt like a game that went all in with game mechanics. But at the end of the day, I play fishing games to catch fish, and I could not for the life of me figure out what the game wanted. No matter what what I did, fish just would not bite. I tried wiggling, I tried staying still, I tried different locations. I played this game nearly half an hour, way longer than most Game Boy Roulette games, without catching a single fish. Yes, maybe I didn't quite understand the mechanics, but I looked up two other video reviews of the game, and neither one of them caught a fish either, so it's not just me. Maybe that's realistic to fishing, but I don't want to play a game where nothing happens. I just don't think I could recommend a game where I'm unable to complete the basic main task in it. Maybe by playing a lot more, I could get the hang of it, but any game that starts off on the wrong foot like that really doesn't bode well for the rest of the game. No, I'm gonna go back to fishing minigames I'm actually good at. Hey, I caught an uncommon! And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to subscribe so you can follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.